Okay, today in class we looked at creating a signal, emitting the signal, and uh, catching it or using a slot to receive the signal, <clears throat> and passing data from uh, using a signal to pass data to a slot. So I'll just run the application that we built first. We have a launch dialog box that opens up a new window. We created some objects on the window, a text box and a spin box which we can enter data into. And then when I click the send button, it, the, uh, <clears throat> the dialog object emits a signal. It actually first creates a, uh, a message object that contains the number, we call it the level, and the, the message, we call it text, and passes that object as a parameter, a constant reference to the object as a parameter in the signal, it emits the signal, and then the signal is uh, connected to a slot in the main window. The slot receives the signal and sets this progress bar according to the uh, integer that's sent and prints the message in its text. So we'll see if I push send, that happens. And I can change the message. change the, the level and push send and again it emits this a signal again this time with the new parameters and it's received in the slot here and the state is updated. Okay so let's have a look at how we did that. So the main the main feature that we're uh, trying to expose or examine today, learn about today is creating our own signal and using it to notify another object of an event that has happened. <clears throat> so our signal was created in the dialog. If I look at dialog.h, we've added a signal, notify message sent, and look at the signature, it takes a constant message, reference to a constant message object as a parameter. Now notice with the signal, there's no actual implementation, just the definition of the uh, signature. <clears throat> but we use the signal. If I go and look at the dialog.cpp, this is the slot that handles the button clicked event. And when I click on that button, I create a message object. So here I instantiate a new message that has the plain text and the value uh, set at construction time. We had, we'll see in a second, we have a two-hour constructor. And then I emit the signal. So the signal is called notify message sent. It takes a parameter that we just constructed, that message object, actually a constant reference to it, but that's taken care of in the definition. And emitting that signal causes that signal to be sent to any slot that has connected with it, or basically a connection to a signal means you're registering your interest in it and you will receive that signal whenever it's emitted. So that's the signal and constructing the uh, data that's going to be sent in the signal. In the main, actually we should look at .h first, in main view we register as a slot, so we create a slot called on message sent, which and this is important, has the same signature, the same parameter signature, const message reference. They have to match. And if any signal that I'm going to, in order to connect a signal to a slot, the parameters must match. <clears throat> so there's my slot, and we'll look at mainview.cpp on message sent. So I when I receive the notify message sent, it activate it runs this slot and I set my UI text message window to the text that I get out of the message object I received <coughs> and I set my um, progress bar value to the integer I get out of the message I received. Okay and the one other thing we have to look at is the connect. How where do we actually hook up the signal to the slot, register 
that this slot is interested in this signal. And that's this connect statement right here. And the connect statement takes four parameters. The first two parameters are a pointer to the object and a function pointer to the function in the object that is the signal. In this case, it's uh, dialog notify message sent. And notice when we do function addresses of functions or function pointers, we have the ampersand in front to take the address. We have to give the full name with the class specifier, so dialog colon colon notify message sent. And we don't include the parentheses at the end. Okay, and then that's specifying the signal or the, the uh, emitter. And then the next two parameters are specifying the slot that's going to receive the signal. So this is a pointer to the current object. That's the main view um, or maybe main window if you just took the default name. And the name of the slot is on message sent in the main view object. So again, take the address of the function, main view is the fully main view colon colon to fully scope the function name on message sent. And that's this guy right here, the slot that we're registering. So the connect says we're connecting that signal to that slot. So when I when I create the dialog, I connect the signal from that dialog to the slot from this main window, the controller. Um, and I, we talked about how uh, this dialog is lazily instantiated. So I can't do this connection until I have created the dialog because I need that uh, pointer to the object to connect to. Um, and I only have to do it once because in this scenario, I only instantiate the dialog once. If I was uh, deleting the dialog when I was finished with it and creating a new dialog, then I would, of course, have to do a new connection. Okay, so that was uh, signals and slots from today.